Welcome, I'm GamerMade0, and today we're going to be building the binary clock. I just released a, sorry, binary calculator. I just released a video that shows how to do it on large scale, but I also wanted to recreate it in front of people because I know some people, instead of just looking at it, learn more by watching. So we're just going to start off with our inputs because we want to make sure that we have enough room for our inputs. So from here, this is actually just how I started. I didn't know where we were going at first. I just knew I needed to get some of uh, the inputs in. So just started a lead for wires. Now we need to do the AND gate. And that's going to be right here. And so we're going to need to... We could just do that. And actually, let's get rid of this. We'll bridge it over. Actually, we only need to bridge it over right here. So this way, this wire can come in and go under. This one can just go right over. All right, that'll work. Now, this is going to be where we create the XOR gate. There we go. Okay. And these just need to go in like this. So now as long as the line looks like it's going straight in, that's fine. If it just looked like a dot, that wouldn't do anything. Or if it comes this way, it wouldn't go into this block here. But because that goes straight in, in fact, I don't think that would work either. But because that goes straight in, that will actually work. And let's test it out just to make sure. And it turns the light off. Actually, I'm interested. Let's find out. Does that work? Nope. Just like I thought. There we go. All right. So now we have our AND gate. So both of these have to be on for this to be on. So that and that. All right. So this part's done and we already have that ready to go because this is the first stage. We don't need to worry about bringing in the carry. This is the carry here. So what happens is you turn one of these on and it'll flip this on, right? Because what we're doing is we're taking number one and adding number two. And since in binary, I mean, this part's pretty easy. Off and off is going to equal zero. But a one and a zero is going to equal a one. So now if we put on both of them, it's going to equal two, which just like a 10 or just like a nine going to a 10, this becomes a zero. And then the one is brought over here. All right, so let's start designing our next one. And really we can do these in the same spot here. I don't know why I dug down on those. There we go. <laughs> All right. If you remember these XOR gates, basically just whatever input comes in and whenever an input changes, this will change. Wow, I'm forgetting parts of this. There we go. <laughs> I knew that light should be off. There we go. Now, if we connect this, just like we were saying, this should come over as a one. It should turn that on. And there we go. It's on. All right. So now, what about the next part? We can't bring the two inputs straight into this. And we know, and this is kind of how I worked out my spacing, we know that this right here will lead straight back to the inputs. 
I also know that I'm going to need a line from this going this way to this one here. So let's put three spaces here. Oops, don't need that. Oops. Okay, let's not miss the torches this time. There we go. And then bring it back this far just so I can bring it in so it's the straight line coming in. All right, now we can just bring the leads back. I know I'm going to need this bridge here, just one back. And then we'll put down the end gate. So now this is where things are going to get a little bit more interesting that we um, need to work out is we've got this part built out so far so that it's kind of like this, but we are including the carry, but only for, but we're not letting the carry effect whether this digit carries on to the next one. So for example, if we were using decimal logic on this one, this is the ones place, this is the tens place here and then the next one would be the hundreds place whereas in binary this is the ones place this is the twos place and this is the fours place so but just the same as this one will need to carry over here well what if this number here in the tens place was a nine and we brought over a one that would basically move this to um, this number to a ten which would need another carry how do we include that to bring it over and I know the decimal logic doesn't quite make that make enough sense, but when you're only dealing up to three numbers, including into the calculation here. So here you have two numbers, right? And this would be the third number, the carry. So when you're including three numbers, it does work that way. And so you need a way to continue passing it up. So what do we do? Well, we're going to have to bring the signal over there. But we don't want, just because this is on, we don't want it just to affect that. So we need to know whether these lines are on or not. Let's go ahead and put down the input. So if one of these is on and this is on, then, and this is partially what this is for, this XOR here. So if just one of these is on, it's going to turn that light off. There we go. So, but now we don't have the carry like I was talking about before, and this gate is not on. So, but that's what this one helps is it turns it back off. So this was a one. Well, by adding another one to it, it becomes a 10. And remember, we're talking about binary. So one zero. Well, that's being brought over. We need to work out bring brought over, but this needs to be made a zero. And that's what the XOR gate does for us. Okay, let's turn that back off. So how do we do that part? Well, we need to know if both of these are on. So if one of them is on and it does a carry, then this part would be accurate. But we need to know if both of them are on. And if this is on, on top of it. So what we're going to do is actually just... Just going to bridge it over. Let's see. I think this is going to get angled weird, actually. Because of this wall here, I'm not working with as much space as I usually am. That's not going to work. Maybe I need to bring it a little bit more over here.
actually there we go okay in here just to make sure that we know that this is a or gate because if either one of these is on because that's how we're going to tell whether if any one of these are on whether we're going to need to carry or not so if both of these are on we're definitely going to need at least a carry but if this and that is on which you guessed it means we need another and gate oops I think I'm just going to bring this under. We're going to go two under to make sure that we're not going to accidentally cross wires here. Now in this case we had this right here. So let's just kind of Draw that out real quick. Two, three. So I'm going to just at least draw the back of that. Let's see. I think we'll bring this under. All right, let's make sure we know how many places this is going. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we can go to here. All right. Just so we can represent that gate properly. We have an OR gate right here, essentially, <laughs> in the middle of everything. And that's the one thing to keep in mind. You're gates can mix. I don't know if they can on a computer. I don't think they can on the computer, but uh, in Minecraft you can mix them. Alright, so I think now what we really need to do is just continue making the next one. So let's go ahead and build it. So we have the one coming from there. Now we need to space it by three. Oops. Keep doing that first one. That'll finish off that OR gate there. Oops. Do not know what I'm doing that for. Okay, this is like barely not touching. <laughs> All right, and then we know we can put the leads in the back here.
this part here we'll have to put the bridge right there bring the line over and there we go awesome <clears throat> all right so we went down and under And that's going to be our carry. Alright, that should work. Alright, we're only really dealing with three digits in this case um, of inputable answers, but we have four digits as outputable answers. So just keep in mind that this is a one, two, four, eight and the carry there is 16 and that's really all that is is just a carry all right so let's test it out let's come up with let's do three plus five okay so the first one will be three so we'll add the one and a two so it ends in one one so as you can see one one it's going to look exactly the same in this case but now we need to do five so we need to go to the four so we have the ones the twos and then the fours over here oops I knew it was wrong when I was clicking it there we go because it's the second number okay so we have the four and we need a one for the five so three plus five And we found a problem. So the first number is three, four, and five. All right, what did we do? So this is on, it carries over. This is turning everything here on, so that's fine. Okay, let's see what it should be doing. So this one should be carrying, which it is. This one has the one and the one, so it should be carrying with that off. And this one should be off, that's fine. So it does, it brings it down, brings it up here. This one has a one. Ah, it's this right here that's the problem, okay. So all I forgot to do was add a repeater. I need two repeaters. All right, I think that's it. I was really confused because I was positive I was doing that right. I just needed a repeater to get that signal all the way over here. All right, so we have 
Let's see, five. Yeah, so we were doing three plus five. Okay, so we have the one and the two, so that's three. The four and the one, that's five. So we should have eight. And that's the one's place, the two's place, the four's place, the eight's place. Awesome. All right, so now let's take out the three. And just add another four or add four plus five. So that should equal nine now. Oh, well, here we go. We have eight and a nine, since it's one's place. All right, so this is the Redstone Library. I know that this kind of came out a little odd in this case. Um, don't really want to be contained by the walls. They're supposed to be there to help present whatever it is I'm working on, but uh, this one obviously extended out a little bit, <laughs> so, but uh, if you guys like that, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. Um, if you thought splitting this into two videos, one row, showing off my clock and, or not my clock, the calculator with everything in there, like the digital output um, and everything, let me know. Now, keep in mind this right here so in the last video that i did that i was showing this i was mixing this with this right here only i didn't have a counter like this we were just manually inputting the numbers and so you just use these leads here like i have in an earlier video in order to arrange how you design the digital clock so that way you get your numbers outputted accurately. So, like I said, let me know how you guys like this. We'll continue using things like this if I can figure out other things to do with more complicated um, gates and things like that. I'll get back to you guys and let you know. Um, so I haven't figured out what we want to do for our room 8 yet. But uh, it's either way going to be pretty fun. So I'll let you guys know next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.